Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I'll be working on my crown of thorns bonsai. This crown of thorns has come a long way in the four years since I started it. I'll rotate it around so you can see what it looks like now. It's been flowering almost all summer. It's just an amazing plant. Some of the older leaves are now turning yellow and are about to fall off. Let's go back in time now and we'll go see what this plant looked like when I got it and some of the steps I took to get it to this stage in life. And then today I'll be pruning it back again for structure and letting it grow once more. The next tree I'm going to be doing some work on is the crown of thorns. And basically I just want to repot it into some good bonsai soil so it grows well for the rest of winter. So you can see it's getting a... Uh, it's got a pretty good root system on it. I mean, it's not thick and woody, but it's uh, there and it's nice and radial. On the root system, there is one root that's higher than all the rest that I'm going to prune off. Like that. You can see the trunk. We're going from our root system. It's quite skinny and it gets a little thicker up top here. So hopefully that'll, you know, be corrected in future that it'll thicken up down below here. I want to remove some weight from the top of the tree so it's a little more stable in the pot. So I'm going to cut back some of these uh, branches here and maybe remove some of them. Just studying them, trying to see what to remove. So there's our little tree roughly styled. Start with the spray bottle. Just wet the surface. It's been over a year since I took my crown of thorns from a nursery pot and planted it in a clay pot. I did root work and pruned the top up to try and get it to a tree-like form. I planted all the cuttings from the crown of thorns and almost all of them rooted and grew. A general rule in bonsai is if you want the trunk to look thicker, reduce the height of the tree. Today I'll be doing some drastic pruning to the tree to bring it down in height and make the trunk look thicker. I have a large vertical section in the middle of the tree that I think I can totally cut out. So I'll come in here and I'm going to try and reach in here without hurting myself. Now the sap on this tree is very, it's a latex sap and it can be uh, poisonous. So try not to ingest it. So I'm going to cut right here. i try and get in a little deeper. There. So there's removing the top of the tree. I'll also prune this side branch back. I'm going to leave it on. I, I debated whether taking it off or not. And I think the tree would look a little boring, just one trunk. So I'm going to leave this on, but I'll cut it back to here. I will, uh, I'll try and root them. Uh, maybe someone will want them. We'll see. No complaints about the rate of growth. I mean, it's been a wonderful little bonsai. It's flowered lots. It looks nice. Um, and it'll just get better and better as it gets older. That's the exciting thing about a lot of succulent trees is that they just start getting a nice character to the bark as they get older finer and finer branching. So I think you can see the radial root base now. It's looking good. It's removing some of these roots that are growing too high. But I'm thinking this pot might look better. It's more of a desert sand color. And I think these are fast growers. So I think in two years, this tree will be quite large. So I think the larger pot will probably suit it for the future. But don't let it get too soaked the soil or it may start rotting the roots or yeah it may rot the trunk so keep it on the dry side but humidity is good that's all the work i'll be doing on my crown of thorns bonsai this uh is getting really exciting i i'm really looking forward to the next phase of this growing today i'll be working on both my crown of thorns and my aloe bonsai and the crown of thorns looks fine in this pot. It hasn't outgrown the pot or anything. It has gotten a lot thicker in the trunk. 
I'll, I'll, I'll show you a close-up of the trunk on the crown of thorns. Here's a look at the trunk on my crown of thorns. And you can see how it's quite thick at the base now. When it started out, it was like this branch where they start out really thin and then they thicken up as they get taller. And that happens on all the branches on this crown of thorns. But as the trunk gets older, it starts thickening up at the base and that inverse taper starts turning to positive taper. So it's looking really good. And the growth rate of this crown of thorns really surprised me, as did it flowering all summer long. I didn't expect that. So because it's grown so fast in just a couple of years, I'm thinking of uh, revising the styling on it or changing my mind on the styling. At first I was going to keep it quite a small little tree, but I'm thinking at this growth rate and the amount of ramification I'm getting, I think I can turn this into quite a large bonsai. Changing my crown of thorns bonsai from a smaller bonsai to a larger bonsai will mean some styling changes. Right now I have some branches coming off almost at the soil level, coming off the trunk. And changing into a larger bonsai, I want to expose more of the trunk on the tree and keep the crown a little higher. So that's got my major pruning done. It needs a lot of cleanup, so I'll go in and get all these dead leaves out and then I'll uh, work on the branching, seeing what I need to remove. I want to keep the lower branches kind of flowing more horizontal. There's another upper one here I can remove, shooting straight up. There's a look at the structure of the tree now. I think it's looking quite good. Nice and compact, that'll grow in really nice. I will just prune, there's a stub here that I'll prune back to these spreading branches like that. That cleans that up quite nicely. So far it hasn't caused any bulging problems in this area, so I'll keep my eyes on it. And if it, if it does start to become a problem with, you know, a bulge where all these branches join, then I can remove some of them. If it's not going to be a problem, then styling-wise I think it looks fine the way it is. I'm going to start the work today by getting rid of all the yellow leaves, cleaning the plant up. And that will allow me more visibility into the structure for pruning. It's quite natural as the leaves get older and as the plant grows, they turn yellow and eventually fall off. So the plant is very healthy. You can see the new foliage is a nice dark green color. I've got my tweezers so I can get into the interior of the tree without pricking my finger on all these thorns. The branches are quite flexible, so if you just grab a leaf, you can kind of pull it down and clear out all the leaves from the interior of the tree. And there was a lot in here. These crown of thorns are really easy to care for. They're succulents, so you don't have to water them a whole lot. They can tolerate dryness. I'm very happy with them. And I think this one, you know, in four years, it's developed a lot. I'm imagining it four years from now, what it'll look like. It'll be even nicer, I hope. I've got the interior of the tree all cleaned out, and I can't believe how many dead leaves and dead flowers there were all stuck up in the branches here. It's quite easy now to see the interior of the tree just have to move the branches out of the way and you can see it's all nice and clean so I can see the branch structure in there for pruning. I've got the tree all cleaned up now and it's looking really nice. I, I Beautiful looking plant. So the hard part now is I, I've got to prune it back and that's because the branches are just growing really, really long without any more subdividing. So my aim is to grow this tree even larger so I'm going to prune all these branches back, getting, uh, you know, more branch division. So they're not just long skinny branches. They subdivide into more finer branching and to get it to look more tree-like in the end. Before I begin the pruning, I have to imagine what style I want the tree in to be in its, you know, kind of final form. And right now it's got, you know, a trunk and then it comes up right into more and more branching, sort of like you would see on a deciduous tree. So I like that style. I think it shows off the flowers. It has a nice crown. 
The problem with this tree right now is that the trunk is very skinny compared to the width of the canopy. So once I prune it back, I think it'll be in proportion more. It'll look more like a grand old tree rather than a, a very young tree you would see, you know, in nature. I think I like the current styling, so I'll keep this sort of form to the tree. Uh, my first task will be to remove some of these lower branches that have grown in since I pruned it last. All right, I'll begin the pruning. I'll take this one off here, like that. And these grow really easily from cuttings. You just place them in some dry kind of bonsai soil or sand and it'll root and grow. Here's another branch I can prune off here, like that. I've got some more branches coming off the trunk here that I'll prune off. One right here. And there's one over this side too. Like that. That was a fairly thick one. I've got one out the back here that I can prune off. So off goes this one, like that. And that pretty well cleans up the main trunk. With the lower branches removed on the trunk, it looks less like a bush and more like a tree. I'll begin to prune the upper canopy now. And before I start that, let's just have a look at one of the branches. The branches on these crown of thorns, they start off really skinny. And then as they grow, they get fatter and fatter out towards the tips. So in nature, because they get heavier towards the tips, they tend to weep. And then I imagine they would touch the ground eventually and it would spread. It would be like a spreading bush that would grow along the ground. They, they never really get all that tall in nature. They can grow to a couple of meters in height, but that's about the maximum. Because the branches have that characteristic of starting off really slim and then getting fatter towards the tips, it's quite easy to create a weeping tree from these crown of thorns. You just have to let them grow and the weight of the branch will naturally cause it to weep. So I might want to do that for some of these lower branches. There's a spider I got to relocate over there. So yeah, I, I might want some of these lower branches to kind of uh, eventually cascade down a little bit, creating sort of a rounded crown. I think that would look quite nice. I, I want to show off the flowers to the maximum. So generally on flowering trees, you have a big crown. So you see all the flowers. I'll start the pruning now. And basically I'm just taking all those long shoots, the new growth, and I'll probably take two thirds of it off, leaving part of the new branch. And that'll cause subdivision and get more and more branching. So where to start, I guess. I can start anywhere. <laughs> so I've got a new shoot here. I'll just reduce it back. It's kind of growing upwards here. Use a bit of directional pruning and off it comes. The sap from these is mildly toxic. So be careful to wash your hands after. Don't rub your eyes and try and reduce contact with your skin. Here's another really long shoot coming out here. I'll take it back to here. This one has some subdividing on it. It goes from one branch into three. So I'll take out the middle part and keep my branch ramification. Like that. So now you can see this branch comes up and it divides into two. Here's a close up of that branch I just pruned. So it comes up, divides from one into two, and I took out the big thick middle part. So that'll give me, you know, more branching in the crown of the tree. I will continue the pruning now, shortening everything. I'm trying to keep my rounded profile in mind too when I'm pruning, so. So I'm basically, you know, reducing the canopy back and I'm trying to do it fairly evenly to keep that rounded crown. There are some branches growing up that I can see I'll need to prune them right off. There's one right here that's shooting up and growing towards the inside of the tree. So I'm going to take that right out. 
that one there. Wasn't that big a branch, but uh, it was cluttering up the design. So some of these branches, I'll be pruning them back fairly hard so there won't be any leaves on it. But after, you know, a few weeks, the leaves will start growing back in. Here's one I'll just take the tip off to increase, you know, branching. Here's another branch that divides from one into three. So I'll pick my best branches and I think I'll get rid of this one that's kind of growing up here. Always trying to divide one branch into two. That way you don't get a, you know, bulging and a lot of clutter. It keeps it a nice flowing design. I'm getting up towards the top of the tree so I can kind of prune it for the final height. So it'll be somewhere around here. And again, once I've finished all this pruning, I'll come in and refine it. I'll step back and take a look at it all. Sometimes I'm not able to keep all my branch ramification that's grown in. I have to kind of hard prune it back a little further. Again, I've got two new shoots here growing up at the base of a major branch here. I'll take those out. They're just making it too complex, the uh, basic structure of the tree. And like I said, I want the basic branch structure to be fairly simple at the base of the tree and they get more complex as it goes out towards the outer part of the canopy. Otherwise, you know, it looks like a, a bush if you can't see that basic branch structure. I think it's starting to look a lot more tree-like now, so I'm not done yet, but I'm uh, getting closer. I think I'm getting really close to having it pruned up. Here's a look at the cutting room floor. It's a lot of nice cuttings in there if I wanted to start a forest or more plants, but uh, I just don't have room right now. A lot of nice cuttings. So let's have a look at the tree. Here's a look at my crown of thorns bonsai now, all pruned up and ready to grow in the year 2021. I'll rotate it around so you can see it from all angles. And back to the front. So I'll continue working on the tree in the future, you know, trying to perfect this basic branch structure and make it better and better each year. But I'm really happy with the progress so far. I think in, you know, the four years from when it started as that little nursery plant, it's come a long way and it's been a really nice uh, bonsai in my collection with all those nice pink flowers in the summer and it reacts nicely to pruning. It's been a really good uh, addition to my collection, I would say. I'll give you a top view of the tree too, so you can see what the branch structure looks like from above. So I think that's progressing quite nicely. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <laughs>